Okay, in this example, we're going to find the area and the perimeter of this figure. And this is going to be a circle, three-fourths of a circle, and then there's going to be a square sitting in the bottom right corner of that circle. Okay, so let's see. Let's start off by finding the area, since that's the first thing on there. So the area, well, the area for my circle, that's going to be pi times the radius squared. And we're going to approximate the area um, by using pi equals 3.14. So again, we're approximating pi. We'll be approximating the area. That's okay. And the radius, well, okay, well, let's talk about this for a second. So, but this is the area for a whole, the entire circle. Right, that's going to be the formula for the entire circle. Well, we don't have the entire circle. We've only got three-fourths of the circle. So that means, in this case, the area for us is going to be three-fourths of 3.14. And the radius of the circle is going to be 3. So we'll have 3 squared. So again, I'm just multiplying by 3 over 4 because we don't have the entire circle. We have 3 fourths of a circle. Okay, so we've got 3 fourths of a circle. All right, so I'm just going to use my, my calculator here. Okay, so... first thing I'm going to do is, okay, so I'm going to take 3 and divide that by 4. That's going to be 0.75. We've got 3.14. I'm going to go ahead and simplify. 3 squared, that's going to give us 9. And now I'm just going to multiply these three values together. So 0.75 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 9. I'm getting that to be equal to uh, 21.195. And I'm going to round this to the, the hundredths place. So the 5 would actually make the 9 bump up into a 0, which would consequently make the tenths place bump up. So to the nearest hundredths place, we're going to get that the area of the circle is 21.20. Well, we also have to get the area of the square. Well, it had a length and a width of 3 and 3. So the area of the square, that's just going to be 3 multiplied by 3, which is going to be 9. So if we add 21.20 plus 9, that's going to give us a value of 30.20 as the area. Okay, so there's the area of that, that figure. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the... the perimeter. So that means we want to find the distance around the outer edge. Okay, so the distance around the outer edge. Well, to figure out the perimeter, okay, we're also going to start off by using the circumference formula for our circle. So recall that the circumference, or the distance around a circle, that's 2 pi times the radius. So again, we're going to approximate pi by using 3.14. The radius is equal to 3. But again, this would be correct for uh, an entire circle. And just like before, we don't have an entire circle. We've only got three-fourths of a circle. So I'm going to do the same thing. So for us, our circumference is going to be three-fourths of this quantity. 2 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 3. So again, I'm just using my circumference formula, 2 pi times r. But again, I have to multiply that 2 pi times r by 3 fourths. Well, we just said 3 fourths, that's 0.75. Let's see, 2 multiplied by 3.14, that's going to be 6.28. We still have to multiply that by 3. So again, let me get my calculator here. So 0.75 multiplied by 6.28 multiplied by 3. I'm getting that to be 14.13. Well, okay, so the, the distance around the circle, that's going to be 14.13. Then we also have to just use the 
um, the, the perimeter of the square. So again, since it's a square, this is three units, and this is three units. So we'll simply take 14.13, we'll add three, and we'll add another three, or equivalently, we'll add six. So if we do that, the three will drop down, the one will drop down, uh, 14 plus six is gonna give us 20. So it says that the perimeter of our figure is gonna be 20.13 units.